Hey church, it's Pastor Sarah. Today is Thursday, July 23rd, and I'm down here in the Wesley Hall. It's been a little while since we've all been down here. We were down here a lot during the season of Lent. For six weeks, a group of us came down when we were doing the walk, and we did Zumba down here. Shannon Ramirez led it for us, and it was so fun. I'm missing that kind of activity. I'm missing y'all. I'm hoping that we can do that again someday. But in the meantime, just thought I would come down here and be in the room and remember and say thanks to Shannon one more time. Exercise, of course, is so important. Pastor Justin talked about that yesterday in his Daily Devo, how important it is to exercise, to run, um, to take care of our bodies, which are temples of the Holy Spirit. Well, I know when I neglect my exercise, one of the first things to go is my balance. Like, I don't know if it happens that way to you, but sometimes I just, if I'm not taking care of myself, I just have to, like, I can't do the stuff that we're supposed to do in our classes. When I go to yoga or when I go to any other kind of um, exercise class, sometimes the instructor will say, check your core. Like, think about your core. Even though we've got like our arms and legs all stretched out over here, think about, put your focus on what's, what's here, what's at the center of your body, because that is what helps you maintain your stability. And I found actually that that's true. Our core is what makes it easier for us to walk steadily, to lift things, to do the things with our bodies that we want to be able to do. But sometimes even thinking about our core, um, even when you've got your arms and legs all out here, if you're thinking about what's, okay, maybe I'm not thinking about my core, I'm thinking about talking, but if you're thinking about what's at the center, it's easier to maintain your stability, it's easier to be steady on your feet. Now, I know that we are in a time in our society right now that just everything is off balance. Everything feels off kilter. The nation opens and then it closes again. And we're having to make impossible, impossible decisions about schools, about businesses, about going back to work, about church. Impossible. Everybody feels off balance. Everybody, I think, is off kilter. What is it that we can do in a time like this to regain our balance and to feel stable again? Well. Proverbs 3, 5 says, trust in the Lord and lean not unto your own understanding. I am wondering whether lean not on your own understanding, trust in the Lord, whether that's sort of the spiritual equivalent to focus on your core, check your core. What would happen if we remembered that the God who loves and who made us, who breathed the breath of life into us, is still there holding us together now? And even though we're distracted, we're reaching, we have so many things that we need to do, if we can stay focused on our core, on our center, our spiritual center, which is God, which is prayer, which is the presence of the indwelling Holy Spirit, maybe that can help us keep our balance. Maybe that can help us feel more steady and stable. I'd invite you to try that over the next few days. Maybe you want to actually do yoga and try some balance, or maybe you just want to check your spiritual core and your spiritual balance. But let's take some time in these chaotic days, in this crazy season, to refocus ourselves on our core. Let's pray. Gracious God, hold us up. Hold us together. Grant us stability and balance that comes only from you. Help us, Lord, not to be so distracted by the frustrations and the questions and the uncertainties of our time that we lean into our own understanding. But God, grant us grace and gracefulness to lean into you. We trust you, God. We know that you're with us, and we count on you to guide us through. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, church. Thanks for joining me. See you tomorrow.